Hey everyone, Crave here, and uh, yeah, really nothing much to do given this phase in the expansion, and all of us are just waiting on the release of Legion. Now, I thought I'd revisit my Warrior and dig up some mog choices I've been using to share with you guys. Uh, my Warrior was my first or second character to start Warcraft in, uh, in the Cataclysm expansion, and... Huh. I... And well, thinking about it, I can't tell whether that was my well that or my rogue was my first character but uh, definitely my warrior was one of my first few characters now <laughs> getting back to it uh, I've accumulated some old gear with uh, with my warrior uh, which means I've been able to use uh, different looks for my old sword and board so anyway let's just let me just show you guys the preferred looks I've had since cataclysm and as with my uploads for my uh, rogue and warlock um, capes are not going to be included this first set started with the shoulder piece I got on my first time getting into Ulduar. So I like to mix things up with most of my uh, my mock sets and this is what I came up with. So the color scheme is somewhat consistent but it will only fit Alliance Tune since there is a different look on the Horde side with some of, you know, some of the pieces. Uh, on that note though and with Wrath content being the way it is, uh, I personally just think that the Horde versions of the, well, the, the theme of this set or the Horde version is basically but basically just looks so much better. This set's one of my older sets which has been, well, has seen some very minor changes to the pieces or weapons, but it's really the helm that uh, got me interested in it. Now, majority comes from the Gladiator set from the older PvP vendors and uh, the textures, textures, yeah, they do look a bit dated and so it will require some careful matching if if you plan to mix up the pieces as, you know, um, older textures uh, really there's a big difference with the recent release of armor pieces so uh, it will be very noticeable so you've just got to be careful if you plan to mix and match now the boots are a bit tricky because I couldn't really find anything that was close to it but um, the vicious craft uh, piece that I'm showing you here right now is fits quite nicely if you don't mind the uh, sort of off color uh, of the boots on the backside this is my sort of quote-unquote barbarian set, uh, which shows off some muscle. Now, the major pieces are a mix of Kata PvP gear and some recent Warlords leveling gear. The oldest piece would have to be Last Laugh from Kel'Thuzad, which was a pain to get some months back in uh, Nakramas. Now, overall, the big uh, spikes in this mashup, uh, uh, I mean, a lot of big spikes in this mashup seem to get that barbarian feel. Now also for this set, I chose to wear, uh, well not to wear a tabard as it will clip the full design on the belt and it basically looks so much better of overall just like this. Now this is one of the few sets that I really liked in Mists uh, with some minor changes in some places so it's mostly the Hate Shatter or the Spirit Guard plate set with some switched out parts. Now gloves could be changed to something that covers up the hands but I like what I've been using ever since. Now the tabard could improve, I admit it could improve uh, though uh, but I think you get the overall feel, of, basically the overall feel for the set. Now about the shields I'm using, uh, they clip some weapons really bad uh, so it can be annoying when you've got your one-hander uh, sheathed so I don't know maybe you can choose different shields or one-handers but yeah just be aware that the clipping does happen this last set is mostly the hateful set from the wrath expansion with a change to the chest piece now I like this look compared to the wrathful set as it has more of a um, I'm not sure what the term is but it has more of a soldier feel to it now the darkish brown color also looks better in my opinion compared to the last PvP set for that expansion now the shield is still from that expansion with it being a drop from Kel'Thuzad again and the sword can be found in the Dragon Soul raid and was basically just added to this set when I used to farm the Dragon Soul encounter in my with my warrior so it, I was using a different sword before I just don't remember what now I'm also well I'm still looking for a good replacement for the boots uh, to have more of that stomp effect but um, well I just haven't found anything that's good lately and those are the sets I've been using with my warrior now most of the imaginable looks are pretty much uh, out there on the web as well, warriors are a very popular class uh, but if you got something unique at least you think it's unique just post them down in the comment section below so people get new ideas unless you don't want to share uh, yeah anyway I appreciate you taking the time to watch this uh, and if you like this leave a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon